I'm Matt Davis, SVP Research at SCM World. I'm on the road again. Today I'm at Epcot Center in Orlando, Florida to take a look at how connected products, the Internet of Things, and wearable devices are changing supply chain to make things more efficient as well as to satisfy consumers at the individual level. Disney released Magic Bands in 2014. The way that they work is that an RFID enabled chip then allows me and anyone else who has a Magic Band to access rides, access your rooms. You can link it to a website with your credit card information so you don't have to carry a wallet. You can buy different products and it required a big investment from Disney. They had to create the bands themselves as well as all the back-end technology and in even things like retrofitting over 25,000 hotel rooms so that you could have a band to access the room. So what this means for supply chain is that businesses are figuring out how to combine data, digital capabilities, and devices to enhance an overall customer experience. So the entire Walt Disney World Park in Orlando, Florida is the size of San Francisco. And in 2013, 44 million guests came to visit the park. One of the investments that Disney had to make to make the Magic Band work was to retrofit the entire park with Wi-Fi. And so that investment was $800 million of technology investment so that all of us can walk around, check our phones, and go on the rides. So my Magic Band is an example of a wearable device. In 2013, it's estimated that three to five billion dollars is spent on wearables. But by 2017, that market is expected to grow to 40 to 50 billion dollars. And wearables are just one example of the Internet of Things and how it's impacting the supply chain today. So in our Chief Supply Chain Officer study, Internet of Things came in as number three of the future technologies that's going to impact supply chain, with 40% saying it's both um, important and disruptive for supply chain. The way that that's working out in a park like Disney World is that my RFID Magic Band can track me throughout the park so that Disney can know things like what I've bought, what rides I've been on. They can also track my path through the park to see what type of experience I'm having. And at some points, there will be opportunities for characters to come up, greet me by name, perhaps customize promotions. It's just a really, way, a really interesting way that Disney will help improve the customer experience for all of their guests across the park. So the supply chain impact of wearables and the Internet of Things are twofold. Um, one is that Cisco is esti estimating that by 2020, there'll be 60 billion internet connected things. So that means that there's gonna be a big production ramp for high tech manufacturers. But a lot of these Internet of Things connected devices are going into consumer products. And so expect to see a lot of collaboration between high tech and consumer products industries. We've already seen that through things like Nike and Apple and some of the things they've done around fitness and the ability to bring technology into our wearables, our apparel, are going to give greater insights into products that consumers want, but as well then starting to feed things like the healthcare industry and other places where if you can collect real-time information on an individual user, you can then start to use that data then to align uh, perhaps in healthcare. It could be things like therapies or making sure that people are following um, the prescription in consumer products. It would be better understanding how a consumer is interacting with their day-to-day -day activities and perhaps allowing for greater customization and personalization. So while the wearables market is, is new, it is expected to explode through 2017 and absolutely is going to have a huge impact on the future of supply chain. Magic Band! Magic Band! So big data is by far and away the most impactful future technology according to our Chief Supply Chain Officer study. And the Internet of Things, through things like wearable devices, is going to generate a lot of the data that goes into big data. Um, volume being one of the three V's, volume, variety, and velocity in big data. And so the way that analytics will change in supply chain is a move from the descriptive, looking back in history and understanding what happened, to the predictive, saying how do I connect data and predict an outcome, all the way to the prescriptive. Once I make a prediction, how do I then go out and come up with a solution ahead of an impact ever even occurring? So Disney's Magic Bands is a great way to have predictive solutions all the way to an individual. You can do things like as I walk through the park, if it's my birthday and I've gone into Magic Plus and put in my birthday, 
uh, characters around the park might come up and say, hey Matt, happy birthday, great to see you. But it also will know my preferences for things like food and beverage, and by knowing where I am in the park, they might send promotions to me, it could give me a very specific offering. And those are great examples of demand shaping all the way down to the individual, only possible with big data analytics and a connection to the consumer.